Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's yet another day for another new and interesting video. My name is Asteria. If you are missing me for the first time, Asteria of Team Tyra. Thank you so much for clicking. Thank you so much for deciding to watch my video. To my new subscribers, you guys are highly appreciated and you are welcome. Thank you for joining the family. To my old subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. Those that are sharing my videos, those that are always leaving a sweet comment under my videos you guys are so so much appreciated so thank you so much before we go on like i said today we are doing an interesting video before we go on I want to give a shout out to Prince African Princess Ram all the way from Botswana African Princess Ram hi if you are watching this I know that you'll be watching this shout out to you and one thing that I want to request you guys event after this video I want you guys to head right to her channel and subscribe to her channel so and share her videos that I'm saying that we are this video is very interesting reason is because we are doing a collab with her hey hallelujah hallelujah amen amen yeah. her channel link will be in my description box so uh click in my description box and head right to her channel and go and support and watch like this video is very interesting so she reached out to me and she wanted us to do a collab first of all first of all I want to appreciate this lady. Ah, I want to appreciate her. We are having real people. Hmm? We are having real people. Oh. And, and, and this lady has been sharing my videos with you guys. She's always watching my videos and commenting. Eh? She's, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm still a beginner. I'm still a, a, a small YouTuber. I haven't reached even 200 subscribers yet. But imagine somebody like her who is already over a, one, a thousand subscribers reached out to me for a collab. But this lady, I have so much respect for her. So, the video about, we are doing today, it's about... I'm going to talk about the similarities and, and the benefits that we share as, you know, being neighbors. We are all Africans and I believe and I know that all Africans, some in one way or another, we are always like we always meet somewhere there are always some things either culture either food beliefs or just the way we do things schools the development and stuff like that tourism and everything are always like in line with each other so we are going to talk about breaking this down what are the benefits that we are having as namibians being a neighboring countries to botswana so i mean neighboring country first of all botswana is our neighboring country geographically located in the southern part of africa i might be looking down because i i, I put some points I i've written some points down so that i just i don't forget yeah so botswana is a country that is having a population of about 2.3 million people nine districts uh, with with over I think over 20 spoken languages like local and it's having over 12 major ethnic groups Gaborone is the capital city and it's the first largest cap, uh, city in, in, in Botswana Namibia is also located in the southern part of Africa with, um, with over 2.4 million people having over 11 ethnic groups 50% of the population is Bambo people or Oshuambo speaking people and and the capital city of Namibia is Bintu which is also the the first large city in in, in the whole of Namibia we are having over uh, 11 ethnic groups and 14 regions in Namibia our official language is English and also it's the same as Botswana but their official language is English and it's the most uh, spoken language also in, in Namibia in, in course it's we are we we are taught English in school as first language 
I'm going to highlight out the five main points that I'm going to talk about like the five points most five things that are similar to what Botswana also is doing or is having this we are going to talk about food we are going to talk about education uh, education we are going to talk about natural resources a uh, citizenship travel visa between Namibia and travel visa between Namibia and Botswana tourism and and we are going to cl close up so yeah so when it comes to food I've come to know like when I was doing the research when I was trying to find information here and there I found out that not not even when I was doing research I have watched a video from a uh, princess African princess Ram channel where she was she was eating donkey meat and and pap like porridge the one we eat here also that is the porridge that is made out of, of, of maize meal and I have I have seen that she was also eating with with the donkey meat you guys <laughs> now donkey meat um I've also come to realize uh, mostly people that eat donkey meat here are mostly perhaps damaras and also yes vambos do eat also it's just that it's it's rare yeah they 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 are eating now but in the days back in the days it was very very rare understand that we just because we are mixing up we are mixing up now and we are getting to learn to eat other different food from different from whatever food that we used to eat in our culture so so donkey meat we also eat donkey meat in namibia and we also eat porridge in namibia made out of mealies like maize meal another thing that i found interesting is mopane worms Ooh. mopane worms i thought it's a namibian thing <laughs> i thought it's a namibian thing but anyways us being us being neighbors and being sisters you know we eat everything we eat one we are one we eat we understand so those are some of the similarities that we are sharing. Those are some of the, the same things that we, same food that we share as, as, as neighboring countries. And also fat cakes. Fat cakes. <laughs> fat cakes here in Namibia is mostly street food. It's mostly something that you can buy in the street. You understand? When like you are going to work and you need uh, something to go eat at breakfast you buy fat cakes you are going to school you buy fat cakes you are at home you feel you're hungry you go and buy fat cakes so it's, it's very popular it's very popular in namibia and i don't know i don't know how popular it is in in botswana but in namibia it is very very popular so yes now coming to natural resources hey my dear i'm telling you that no one would deny that no one would deny that africa is blessed with natural resources I'm proud to be African. I'm proud to be African. I'm proud to be a uh, neighbor to Botswana. You understand? So, Botswana, man, natural resources. We have diamonds. We have silver. We have gold. We have we have salt. Like name it all. Those are the most uh, most of natural resources that you find. If you if you find them in Botswana, you can find in Namibia understand in Botswana they also there is also free education in Botswana understand there's also free education in Botswana with the Ministry of Education having authority over all education structures except for the University of Botswana <laughs> yeah hey, they are also having free education even in Namibia also we are having free education you understand we are having free education like this whole free education thing started in 2013 if I'm not wrong started in 2013 from grade 1 to grade 7 and then from grade 8 to grade 12 in 2016 that was implemented in 2016 so understand we share a lot in common we are siblings <laughs> we are siblings no one would deny that you cannot tell me anyhow we are all we are siblings Namibian Botswana people Come and carry your sister or about citizenship. Understand? A citizenship. Being let me say you have been in Namibia for two years. Kabosa Danan Namibian. 
I've been in Namibia for two years. And in the process, they they give birth to a child. Now, for that child to be Namibian, it's either one of the parents is Namibian, then the child can have a Namibian citizenship, the same as Botswana. But you guys, I, I got all this information from Google. I, if I'm wrong, please do correct me. Don't don't blame me. It's blame Google. <laughs> blame Google. The best, best, best benefit. Yeah. The first, that's why I'm saying Botswana, I'm coming. <laughs> Botswana, I am coming. Botswana, your girl is coming home. She's coming back home. Imagine, for me to travel to Botswana, I don't need this. Ay. God in heaven, God in heaven. You did very well for making us neighbors. Did very, very well for making us neighbors. Just imagine me the whole of me very soon i'll be having lunch in namibia um, and i'm going to have dinner in in botswana Ay, Timo. that is that is a very good thing you can travel without you don't have a visa you just have your passport. need to start using our benefits hmm? you call it benefit but you're not benefiting from the benefit ah the best thing to do Start knowing, know your rights. What are the rights that you're having as a Namibian being a neighbor to Botswana? Yeah. Now imagine if I make money, if I make money, God, God, you have to open the door for me. If I make money, lunch in Namibia, dinner in Botswana, dinner in Botswana, or breakfast in Namibia, breakfast in Namibia, lunch in Botswana. Hey, <laughs> thank you. I know that you've heard, I know you heard COVID, you are very wicked, but you're not going to stop me from going to Botswana. Mm. When it comes to tourism, Namibia and Botswana are the are of among the top ten African countries that are mostly visited by tourists. <laughs> I told you Namibia and Botswana are very rich. These two countries, they are very very rich. Over a year, like Namibia gets about 1.5 million tourists visiting Namibia. Eh, just imagine me. Eh, imagine, and with Botswana getting about 1.6 million tourists every single year. Tell me that is not a blessing. Hey. If it's not a blessing, I don't know what but I don't know what you are going to count as a blessing anymore in your own life or or being a citizen of your own country or if you don't know, recognize that as a blessing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. So if you need to learn a lot of things when it comes to tourism in Botswana, head to her channel. The link will be in my description. I'll leave her channel name on the screen head over to her channel hey. Botswana is, is is having a large population of elephants large population when I'm saying large I mean over hundred thousand elephants in one country you also found a, a lot of elephants in uh, at, at, at the Etosha National Park there so Etosha National Park home to lions cheetahs rhinos giraffe and black-faced impala you understand like in zambezi and 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 chove district you find out that those people they share grazing land they share water they share fishing wheat like they share because it, we we are just one so if we share even neighbors, they understand. The countries that are neighboring to Botswana are also our neighbors, like Botswana, like Zimbabwe, like uh, Zambia, South Africa. You understand. This video was in collaboration with the, the only and only Botswana YouTuber that has earned me my respect me with less than 200 subscribers somebody who is over 1000 subscribers is asking me for a collab huh if you tell me there's no god you are lying yeah you guys thank you so so much for staying this far thank you for choosing to watch my videos like i've said please head on to princess ram's channel and subscribe to her channel also she has also made her own video about the similarities and and then benefits of being neighbors with namibia 
head on to our channel and learn something new in case you didn't hear about hear about it on my channel the happiness that i'm having anyways thank you so much guys with that being said bye bye